American. Hey guys, what's going on? So here, and this is my basic modeling in Cinema 4D um, tutorial. I said I would produce this last Thursday, and that didn't happen because of a number of reasons. But yeah, well, today we'll start working on it, I guess. Alright, first thing you need to do is open up Cinema 4D, obviously, and you get your settings right. If you just want to follow me, it's fairly simple. Tutorial Alpha Channel uh, Best Anti Analyzing Effect Ambient Occlusion Occlusion I don't really know Color Correction Color Mapping Global Illumination Depth Field and Glue That's basically it for there. Alright, so today because most of you enjoyed my latest um, speed art of the jetpack or the rocket, I'm gonna design something along those lines fairly simple I'm gonna try and keep this under like four minutes five minutes so it's not really a hassle for you guys so the first thing you want to do is go up to your tool tab and you want to hold down and you want to like choose you want to choose a cylinder but you can choose anything in this um, selection so you got a cylinder and so you've got your frame for the cylinder just lift that up um, then what you want to do is you want to get the height and you want to take it to 400, uh, actually make that 300 centimeters and make the radius about 100 centimeters, Oops, 100 centimeters, maybe 350 height. Yeah, so you've got this basic outline of the rocket. Okay, so now you've got that, you want to change the height segments to about 25. This creates these little lines, as you can see, these white lines that go around the side and these are individual cells which you can change once you've finished so you can choose as many as you like but for this I'm just going to choose about 25 uh, rotation segments is the 360 degrees up here and you don't really need to change it up from 36 so I'll keep that there alright so now you've got your cylinder you're going to want to go click on cylinder and go up to here to um, the conversion so once you click on this button up here just click on it, it'll change it to, it won't change anything, but up here it will change from a cylinder to a triangle with three little dots in it. I'm not sure what that represents, but that's basically it. Um, then you want to go down to use polygon mode, and see now it's blue, so you've got this whole blue outline. Okay, but just to finish up, so now you've got your blue outline, each individual cell of these able, you're able to choose and stuff. We're going to start with the top bit of it. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to live selection, this tool here. You're going to hold shift and you're going to go all the way around. Just drag your mouse around the top center. So now that's highlighted and nothing else is. The bottom, the top, and so those individual cells are highlighted. So now you want to go to um, extrude inner by right clicking on the, um, just anywhere on the screen. And go to extrude inner. What this does, it creates when you hold left click and you drag, it creates a size pattern that you can then determine. So you want it, if you're going to make the um, wind tunnel, which was in the jetpack, you want it to have about this. Then you will want to like push it in more. So to extrude it or place it down, you hold control and you push down, and you can see just those cells are being placed down. Make sure you hold on to the arrow first before you push control. Controlling just keeps it as center as you want. I'm at four minutes so I'll hurry this up. Um, again you want to go extra in eye and you want to go down again. So you've got these little outlines here. Actually um, I'm going to go to about ten minutes because this is going pretty well so I'll keep this going. Okay. Now what you want to do is hold shift and you want to drag it. Then again you want to lift it. No, and then you're going to click on the arrow, hold shift and lift it up. You can see how this causes like creates a little outline against here and it's uh, at an angle unlike these ones. So now that you've got your basics of the like first bit of the tunnel, you want to go right click again and matrix extrude. Matrix extrude, sorry. 
I'll just show you here. Click on that and hold control. So you hold control and then you drag to the right or left. See what I'm doing here? And it creates this nice little, I don't know what you would call it, um, extrusion, I guess, yeah. That's one way, or you can hold shift and it creates this little spiral outwards. I would recommend shift because it gives you more of a pattern of uh, wind turbine. You just keep going with it and see it gives you this little nice little fan like looking thing. So now you've done that, um, let's go to live selection tool again. And no, sorry, we go up to the select tab up the top. I will go down to ring selection. So if you place it on the side of the thing, you can see it will select the whole ring outline of the cells that you've chosen. So click on that, and now you've got that. So you want to go extra in there again to make it smaller. Then you want to go, actually no, we won't, don't want to do that. Uh, I'm just testing something. Okay, so you want to go extrude inner, like I was saying before, but you want to push it all the way in and to keep it going. So you've got this weird looking pattern on the sides, and you want to go extrude, and you just want to drag it. See how it drags in or out? You can do that either way, but um, pushing it in just makes it more centered. So, yeah, so you extrude inner, drag, and extrude, and it just pushes in or out. So you want to create that, so you've got that shape. Then you want to do it again, so you go select, ring selection, again, extra inner, out, and then click on, yeah, we'll do bevel this time. So you want to make a cone shape of the funnel. So you want to go up to bevel. After you've done your extra inner on the last selection, you want to go to bevel up here. And you want to drag it to the right. And you can see how it's creating this sort of edge, you want to stop it around the first ring that you created so you can just see the outline of that other ring see now you've got this nice little curve thing here and you want to go again to ring selection and you want to choose this, you can do extra dinner and this is basically all you can do, you can drag that extra dinner up or down using the arrows and then you want to go, you can just play around from here I guess you can do anything you want, so extra dinner again this is just the basics, I remind you again, but you can make a pretty cool um, starting point for your things. Uh, sorry, for your modeling on Cinema 4D. So you can push that in, push that out, that's got two things. But make so, no, yeah, that's the start of the rocket. Um, on the edge, it's pretty much the same, that's the basics of Cinema 4D modeling. So you want to go to live selection, you want to choose every single um, individual cell around the thing. One up, one down, one up, one down. Cross, 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 cross. Cross, 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 cross. Again, again, again. So you want to keep going until you've reached the other side. This can be fairly time consuming, so you just have to be patient. And yeah, that's done. So now we've got these selection outline. So you want to go extrude inner again. These are mainly the only tools you will want to use when um, trying out your basics on Cinema 4D modeling. So bevel, extrude, extrude inner, matrix extrude, um, smooth shift you don't really use. It just creates a, the same thing, extrude or bevel would. But here you want to go extrude so you get smaller squares than what the cells were intended. And then you want to go extrude, and you want to hold control, and you want to pull out. If you don't hold control and you pull out, sorry, no, I was wrong there. Yeah, so you just want to pull out, you don't have to hold control. But if you do, you can hold control and it will make it um, smoother than it was. So you've got these outlines now. And from here, you want you can go from live selection, I'm just going to show you on one cell. But again, you can pull the extrude in, and bevel, and then uh, sorry, extrude, and then you pull it down. You can see how I'm creating this pattern here. And you click on the arrows and shift hold it down. And it creates like a kind of um, thinner pattern as it comes down this um, cylinder. So you keep going, so now you've got that outline. And that's the basics of modeling so far.
I'll produce another um, spade art of intermediate, but that's all you really want to use. So remember cylinder to start off your engine. You want to go to converter down to polygon tool, then just right click, bevel, extrude, extrude, you know, matrix extrude. It's all you need to start off basic Cinema 4D modeling, and you can create something like this. I'll get onto colors and shading and everything like that later, but I'll just show you, show you the finish result of this um, with some lighting to it. Um, let's say uh, box light ring one. Yeah, thanks for um, carbon. I got this off carbon's uh, graphics pack, and it's actually sick light ring. And it's easily, yeah, it's really easy. Um, you can edit it. So you can get rid of the backing and you can lift it up. So I don't want to see any of the lights or anything like that. So I'm going to go down here, look over the beams, the carbon light room, select and then... Doesn't work, doesn't... Oh, right, that's pretty simple. So now you've just got the lights, but, yep. And this is what your finished result will look like after rendering. It went for a bit longer than I was hoping for, but... You've got to know the basics. So yeah, this is the first part of my Cinema 4D basic modeling tutorials, and stick around for the next one. I hope this um, helps you and improves your modeling tools, I guess. Uh, yeah, peace.